Hello again, welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we're taking a look at Seriously.TV, another BuzzFeed clone pushing regressive left propaganda via race baiting, identity politics, and humor. One cast member in particular caught my eye. After browsing through their channel briefly, I quickly realized this guy is the token black guy of the show, and everything he says is race related and usually anti-white. Let's start by looking at the very first video that pops up on the Seriously TV page titled, Welcome to Seriously TV. Breaking news, another white police officer has shot and killed another black man in Alabama. Threat level? Tuesday. You see what we're dealing with here? Not only is this crap perpetuating the anti-cop, cops are racist, false narrative, it's also horribly unfunny. Every joke on this site is cringeworthy in fact. And every time this black guy comes on, it's something racist or anti-white. And what a bold way to start your channel. Welcome to Seriously.TV, where we call cops racist and hate on white people for no reason, except to try and make money off of ignorant, well-meaning millennials. Come check us out. Next, let's take a look at Token's part in their video called, We Love the Attention from Our Trolls. Trolls being anyone who disagrees with them, even if they're justified. I went off on a rant this week about how people over 30 shouldn't play video games. Okay, that's not racist, that's just stupid. There's no age limit for gaming. This guy sounds like an old man. That's what my dad still says. Oh, you're playing your old video games there, Sonny? Aren't those for children? No, Dad. I'm crafting a 12 building village and using my 39 settlers to farm mutt fruit to fund my robot workshop. Modern gaming is way too complex for children, is what I'm trying to say. It's like saying cartoons are just for children, or candy. Sure, traditionally cartoons, candy, and games are for kids, but adults use them too. And adults play more video games and they're better at them. And video games have gotten bigger and more difficult. It's not the 90s anymore. Carmen C commented, never, lol. Check out 80 year old Graham's loving it. Aw, that's sweet. Of course grandma would love online gaming. It's the perfect platform to be racist. Not all grandmas are racist, buddy. Not all. My grandmother loves it. Kill shot, bitch boy. <laughs> oh, well, calling me the N-word will bring your parents back. <laughs> this is for John Lewis. Not funny, bro. Not at all. And I had to look up John Lewis. Now I remember. He was a civil rights activist turned congressman who said Trump was not legitimate. So in an awkward name-dropping fashion, seriously as virtue signal to the blacks. Let's line up all the blacks in support of Seriously.TV. They think you're helpless victims who are being brought down by racism from white supremacy. You have no agency, black people. Sorry. Seriously TV said so. And they speak for you now. Next, I got a humdinger for you guys. Looks like Seriously gave Token Black his own show called H&IC of love with Nore Davis. What's up y'all? I'm your head nigga in charge, Nori Davis, and this is the HNIC of love. HNIC is head nigga in charge. That's that's it. That's all I got to say about that. What the fuck? Now take a look at the views on a head nigga in charge video from last week. 302 views, 6 likes, and 3 dislikes. This is sad. This is sad for anyone on YouTube, especially a high budget channel like Seriously.TV. They have a big cast, a daily format, a high production value, and they can barely muster up 300 views. This wannabe BuzzFeed MTV news bullshit is not working out so good for Seriously.TV. And I hate that name. It reminds me of Dot Mike. Why you gotta put a dot in there? And like their names, their content is the same kind of pretentious bullshit. Lastly, let's take a look at Nore's opinion on the recent women's march on Washington. Did you notice the police force? The difference between the police force between a Black Lives Matter march and a woman's march? Damn! Well, there are different types of marches and groups, Nore. Black Lives Matter promotes killing whites and killing cops. Their protests have a history of losing control and getting violent. The Women's March has little to no history. Their protests' only problems are needing more fatty foods and nose rings. And despite saying they're for the environment, they litter quite a lot. The Women's March online looked like the cops weren't even there. But the Black Lives Matter March, man, they got goddamn SWAT. They got everybody, they got Inspector Gadget. Let me guess, you think that's because of racism? It's not because perhaps Black Lives Matter has a history of violence? It's not because their rhetoric promotes violence? No, according to Dore, it's because blacks are victims of unending racism that controls any and every facet of American society. Give me a break. It's an emotional attachment. When it's with us, no emotional attachment at all. Cause they're like, I, I don't wanna act all crazy during this march cause my mom might be out there. But the Black Lives Matter march, I don't know none of them niggas.
And now we've come full circle. Dore is blaming the police for the problem, again. And his equivalence between the Women's March and Black Lives Matter is completely false. While I don't agree with either movement, at least the Women's March has noble goals at heart. And while defending women's rights is something everyone could get behind, I wasn't a big fan of the anti-Trump march masquerading as a women's march. But still, they were just voicing opinions and having a public demonstration. Quite harmless aside from spreading false information. Black Lives Matter, on the other hand, is practically a terrorist organization. They have condoned violence, incited violence, and caused it themselves. They chant kill all pigs for Christ's sake. Won't someone think of the pigs? It makes perfect sense for the police to be more cautious given Black Lives Matter's history of violence. Seriously, and Dore calling their precautions racist is fucking retarded. These assholes are just carrying water for Black Lives Matter and other racists on the left. In this race baiting, it needs to stop. What do you guys think? Is seriously race baiting? Is Dore being used as the token black guy? Comment below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. And it ain't no lie, baby. Bye, 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 bye. We know that bullshit, yeah, yeah. We know that bullshit, yeah, yeah. Hello everyone, we wanted to take an extra minute and have you take a look at these little cute guys. That's kittens, and mitten kittens, and stinker, and widdly do. Those are some of the harmless kittens that have been surviving off of the No Bullshit Patreon account. Go down to No Bullshit Patreon store and uh, donate your money now to save cats and save lives and just be a good person and don't, don't be a dick, you know, don't, don't be a dick for once, for one time. Give us your money to save cats. One more way you can support the No Bullshit Show is buying our merch. We've got all kinds of shirts, mugs, white shirts, black shirts, hoodies, all kinds of cool stuff at our Teespring store. If you're looking for some swag, I definitely recommend checking it out. And all the proceeds go right back into the show so I can make more videos for you guys. Thanks so much for your time. Goodbye again. <laughs>